Greetings, agents of change. I am joining you from the beautiful country of Bahamas and the Exumas. And I have to tell you, I have to concur with Dr. Miles. It is the place that God lives. Look at the beautiful water. It's a beautiful day. And I thought I would join you today to not only share with you the place that God lives, but to invite you to the place the Holy Spirit lives. <laughs> so as you know, in January next year, the 13th and 14th, we are having our annual symposium. And the theme this year is authentic leadership. As you know, Dr. Monroe shared with us and taught us that Leadership is the solution to all of our problems, but it is also the problem to all of our problems. So it's a dichotomy. So we are going to focus on authentic leadership. It's something I coined because I've seen so many different leadership philosophies out there. And I have to tell you, there's only one leadership philosophy that Jesus Christ spoke to us about. He emulated to his disciples. He demonstrated to the world what a true, confident, secure leader looks like, acts, and behaves. They don't oppress others. They don't subject them. But however, they inspire them and they empower them. And it just so happens that I am at the place where I learned these truths, the original truths from God about authentic leadership in the Bahamas. So I wanted to share that with you as I am sitting here reflecting, getting ready for our symposium. I would love to see you in Naples, Florida for our symposium. If you cannot join us, we will be live streaming it. However, I cannot guarantee it. The live stream will be that strong because since the hurricane, we've been having a lot of Wi-Fi power outages, but we're doing the best we can. I'm getting a Starlink to try to uh, fix that problem. So I wanted to take this moment as we are preparing an environment for you. An environment is the key to any product, is the key to growth for you, is the key to growth mindset. Environment is a key where you can not only grow personally, but corporately with other like-minded people. Community is a powerful concept. We need it now more than ever. I get so many emails and DMs about, we don't have a community where we live. And you know, I have to tell you, we haven't seen many of you since 2019. So we miss you, I'm so looking forward. I've seen so many of you sign up for it and I'm so excited to see you live. Hug your neck and we can spend two and a half days together. So we will have um, Miss Bimpy Martins from Nigeria is joining us. She is my twin, I love her dearly. She's doing an amazing work with her, uh, her, her nonprofit NGO in Nigeria and through the United Nations. And so she's going to be sharing some practical tips, how to influence, how to mentor. And honestly, the youth needs this more than ever now. So especially if you are called to empower the youth and you feel that you can be a solution to the youth, then I really encourage you to come and be part of this. Oh, we have the nice Jamaican music, Bahamian music going on. Don't you guys feel like you're in the Caribbean with me? I have my nice fruit infused water. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful today. So we have some um, sessions that our international people are doing because not everybody can travel internationally yet to come. And so we're gonna have some powerful sessions, spend two days together. And then on the third day on Sunday, you will join me on Eden, where we will take a nice cruise, we have a nice brunch buffet for you, and we can all spend some good quality time together. And I'm also 
going to be doing baptisms, water baptisms, right here. We have a hot tub. And I'm like, you know what? Let's use this hot tub. I'm gonna show it to you. There it is. It's under the cushions. And let's do our water baptisms here. And I am so excited because I don't even know in the history of humanity if anyone has done baptisms on a yacht before, <laughs> especially those who understand the concept of true baptism. So I've got emails from you, so we know a few of you are going to be doing that. So I am so looking forward to that because that's something that I've never done before. So come be part of community, join us, come expand your mindset. This world needs a new breed of leadership. We need to show them what this looks like. Lisa, I'm in the Bahamas. You know that. <laughs> Exumas. It's stunning. I've never been down here. We are at Staniel K. No, you call it Key. I said that wrong for all you Bahamians. You Bahamians are like, oh my gosh, that American. <laughs> they spell the keys C-A-Y. So we say K and everyone looks at us like we're crazy. Lisa, I'm gonna show you Staniel Key. So we have the marina, we have the boats there, there's a little restaurant bar, the kids just run around, the sharks are all down there. Those of you on social media have seen me showing you all the sharks that we swim with. They're nurse sharks, they're docile, they're used to people, not a big deal. Don't get excited, everybody. So it's just beautiful, it's a beautiful day. You guys, you have to look at these blues. I wish I could bottle it up and send it to you. Lisa, you know what you're missing. Look at the blues. So the kids are out snorkeling. You can just go anywhere, drop anchor and snorkel, scuba. Oh. So there's places we've been going to grottos, we've been swimming in caves, we've been going on the rock formations. The kids are just in heaven. I just go underwater and just watch my kids just enjoy this underwater world that I've been talking to them about for years. Yeah, Lisa, I know. <laughs> Lisa's like, oh my gosh, transport me now. So, oh, Rose is from the Bahamas. She knows exactly what it's like here. But Rose, I've never been down to the Exumas. It's stunning. I know, Lisa, I feel for you. I'm gonna send you some warm weather, Lisa. She's in the UK, everybody. <laughs> but you're gonna be here soon, I hear. So thank you for joining me today. I just wanted to touch base with you briefly. Honestly, I know you haven't heard from me for a while. I think in the spring was the last time I did a live stream, but I've decided to take a break in the summers, spend it with my family in the mountains. And then as soon as we came back in September, we had the hurricane. It takes almost uh, a month to get back to a uh, normal routine in life. It just upheaves everything, repairs, you know, electrical, pool equipment, dirty, nasty pool. I mean, it's just a lot. Um, so that's a whole nother story. And I didn't even go into how God had protected us through the storm. It hit everybody. But I was just really sensitive because there was so much damage all around us in that hurricane with my neighbors. And it, it was tough. My heart went out to them. So I didn't want to get on here and say, look how blessed we are. God protected our, you know, the angels protected what belongs to us, our property, because so many people are just devastated. Um, but again, we know it's the foundation of your life that determines the outcome. It's not the storm that's the problem. As we've been learning in our classes, it's the foundation that your life is built on. The principles applied, the keys, the mindset that you have. So the hurricane wasn't the issue it hit everybody but the issue was okay kingdom mindset the principles we know you prepare you manage you get ready for them and I have to tell you it destroyed a lot of people's lives this was a tough one I'm not gonna lie it's the worst one I've seen in my 50 years so thank you for everybody that reached out I know I haven't even done a live stream since then um, during the hurricane, after the hurricane, seeing how we were, all is well. We have nothing to complain about. Things were damaged and destroyed, but nothing, nothing to the degree.
degree of everyone around us. So a lot is still going on here, there in Southwest Florida that the news isn't covered anymore. I know um, any of you that went through Katrina, you understand that. But this wasn't, you know, this was different, but it was still as devastating as. Actually, I heard this was the most costly hurricane in American history, or the most, the most devastating one as well. So, all right, my girls are sneaking up on me. They keep wanting to talk to me. We're here with some friends. Shiloh, say hi to everybody. Hi. Where are you at? Are you having so much fun? No, the Bahamas. <laughs> Do you love the Bahamas? Yes. Are you snorkeling? Yes. Did you see sharks? Yes. What else did you see? What did you love? What's your favorite the thing about fish. the Bahamas? The, we were, uh, my favorite thing was we were swimming in the jet ski. Oh, the jet skis. And as a matter of fact, here they come in on the jet skis. So we take little outings on our jet skis and go different places. We found this gorgeous beach. I did a I did a little video recording from the beach. I'll be sharing that later. Hold on, baby love. Oh, thank you. I'll put it in my hair. Thank you, my love. You're so sweet. So we are leaving after lunch. I'm so sad. It's just stunning here. So I love you guys. I can't wait to see you. I will be seeing you soon. Oh. <laughs> Auntie Lisa says hello, Shiloh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, good seeing everybody. And hopefully I will see a lot of you in a month in Naples and if not, online. So take care and say goodbye to Bahamas. We'll do a panorama. <laughs>